Hello everyone, it's Seth Chandler with Wittercoin right here in San Francisco. Look, really busy day today, coin shop, Saturday afternoon, right? Guy comes in, kind of a regular bullion buyer. Guys told me he comes in like once or twice a week. You could just tell, you could tell a newer bullion buyer. They come in, kind of cautious, they walk around like a cat, enters a room, you know, he stares at the bullion screen a lot. Really wonderful guy, spent a lot of time with him today. I love Saturdays because I can go out there and talk to people and kind of hang out. I don't really have to worry about the business, but just go out there and have fun. So um, we're talking and of course, through our training and what we love and our passion is coins. Every person who buys bullion, we introduce them to like, for example, uh, a Morgan dollar if they're buying silver eagles. We introduce them to a St. Gallon's $20 gold coin if they're buying gold eagles, right? It was modeled after the same design. So I said, James, go get this guy a couple of little coins to show him and I'll go come out there and I'll just kind of show you how it's done, all right? And uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes into it, give him a red book, said here's the whole dynamics, 20 libs, 20 saints, 10 Indians kind of the bigger picture, but you know, you try to keep it really simple in the beginning, you just wanna make one simple comparison. And in my mind, if somebody's buying gold eagles, if you're buying 10 or 15, 20, 25, 50, wouldn't you wanna have one or two saints? Of course, you know, but people are spooked, they're freaked out. And again, most bullion buyers, when they're starting out, they're a little cautious, you know, kind of tippy-toe around, but you know, a lot of positive experiences for this guy in Witter Coin. Sees me, knows James, looks at the buoyant screen, the, the fancy showroom, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Been around since 1960. So he took a little bit of a leap. But what I found myself doing, you know, was the obvious transition from him. He was fascinated by the 20 lib. And so he bought like a BU one for like $2,000, some, somewhere around there. And, you know, that's a stretch for a gold bullion person to be buying, because you know, you look at a gold eagle, premiums are high now, they're like, what, 200 bucks over per ounce? But you know, a, uh, a uh, 20 lib, even a basic saint, still, you know, two, you know, it's still like, what, 350, 400 bucks over mel? So it's a big stretch, it's 25% more, but as I explained it, you know, the demand, you know, collectors, they're always gonna buy these. Sometimes the premiums will shrink, but, and then I brought out like, you know, some CEC graded coins, some PCGS coins, just to kind of show them the scale. It's kind of like an A to Z, learn everything. But um, what I found myself doing, which I need to stop, all right, is my individual preferences cannot translate very easily to other people and let them make their own decisions. Keep it simple, let them make their own decisions because you know, maybe a couple years ago, one of the coins I was showing this gentleman was a 1915 S Saint, right? An MS64 CEC. To me, that's a lot cooler coin than a 1904 20 lib that's a raw BU coin. Yeah, granted, it's like 50% more money, but if you're going there, you could never, you always tend to like always want to stretch, 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 stretch. But the guy made a decision to buy a 100 year old classic American gold coin. And that's the first step. And, you know, as collectors, we tend to overcomplicate things in our head. You tend to like map it out way too much. Sometimes it's just good to get started. And especially with something like this, who has no idea anything about coins, you know, I have to respect that and embrace that and say, hey, here's the first basic step that I think any bullion buyer should do is buy a very basic, even raw, uncertified $20 Saint, $20 Liberty, hold it in your hand. You know, as the great Oki would say, I'd be honored and treasured to own such a fine piece of American history. Right, Oki? So, you know, let that resonate with people. And then, you know, as it happens, I explained to him how people can build a 12-piece gold typeset or maybe you gravitate more towards saints, whatever it is you think. But it's just cool to see somebody, to see their brain working, especially when they really, you know, are not really big bullion buyers. They're just trying to figure it out. But to see that transition going from, bullion just gold 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 everything's about gold to like oh wow this is really interesting and for like 20 percent more i could buy a 125 year old 20 dollar gold coin so that's cool that was exciting that's why i love i love going out people ask questions i love it love it getting out there answering questions for people but i gotta go i'm going to the uh, san francisco italian american association my mother Lin mother-in-law linda mm -hmm. linda love you uh big polenta dinner tonight obviously they need some muscle to stir that polenta for like a good hour to make it ready well my best gold chain and of course i'm driving the mustang tonight all right y'all have a great evening okay bye-bye